thanks for joining me today. In today's card tutorial, I will teach you how you can use your designer series paper, printed paper if you're not using Stamping Up, when you can use both sides. You know, our designer series paper is so beautiful and oftentimes we can't choose which side to use because it's so pretty. We don't want to do that, right? You don't want to glue it down on one side and then you won't see the other side. So this fun fold card design uses both sides. I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. I won't show you my samples yet. I want to keep those until later. But so let me just go over the um, paper that we'll be using, the cardstock and the DSP, and also the stamp sets and the dies that we're using. So as I mentioned, I did do some cutting ahead of time. I have a piece of copper clay cardstock, which measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Piece of boho blue, which measures four inches by five and three eighths. And then I have a piece of the designer paper. This is cheerful as cheerful daisy or something like that. Um, designer series paper. I'll have all that information in the link below the video. And um, it's double sided. So, you know, I'm going to use both sides. I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, this piece is three and seven eighths by five, I'm sorry, eight and one eighth. So three and seven eighths on the short side by eight and one eighth. And we're going to do some scoring on this. And then I have a piece of uh, basic white cardstock. I mean, you could use a scrap for this. This I'm just going to die cut from here. I'm going to die cut two circles. And then I'll show you a space, um, not space saving, a um, cardstock saving tip for the circles. So the circles that I'm using are the deckled circles. I love these circles. It comes with, how many are in here? There's quite a few. There are 14 circles and they're nested dies. So they're graduated by about a quarter inch between each one. So I love these, they're fantastic. Then I am also featuring three stamp sets. Um, one I'm actually just using a die from. I'll show you that in just a second. But I'm using the Sweet Songbirds stamp set. I think this is adorable. I'm not a bird person, as you guys all know, but I've been getting out of my comfort zone and I've been using those birds. So yeah. Um, we'll be using the Happy Easter sentiment from the Easter Bunny stamp set. Another cute one. And I will be using the dies from purchased in a tree. The dies are actually called Aspen tree dies. Aren't these beautiful? I love them. So I already die cut the tree branch for that. Okay. All right. So I think we got all that housekeeping out of the way. Let us start making our card. All right. So let me score this piece. So this is a three and seven eighths by eight and one eighth and we're going to take the blade and move it out of the way so I don't cut. How do I know that? Because it's happened before. And then I'm going to score, uh, let's see, this is going to be scored at two and seven eighths. I want this folded over. Yes. Okay. So I want the bumpy on the inside, although that's not going to get the bumpy on the inside. So I want to do it this way. All right. Is that the yeah, because the bump is going to be on the inside, so hang on. Bear with me a second. I want to do the, like this. Okay, I think we got it. So depending on how your paper goes, be careful with it, because as you can see, this is, I mean, I guess it's really not directional, but it is, because if you put it this way, I'm sorry, I was out of the screen. I just set my camera up a different way, so I want to see how this works. So I may be out of the screen a lot. Um, I'll try not to. I'll be more conscious about that. Anyway, this is directional. So you see how the daisies are going up that way? If you do it this way, they look like they're falling out of the sky. But we don't want that. So anyway, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to score this at two and seven eighths. And because I want that bump on the inside, that's why I flipped it over. And we'll just score this. Okay. So now we have our little fold here. Just gonna fold that back. 
and you have your fun fold. How cool is that? So quick. So, so quick. All right, so we are done with the trimmer for now. Let's just keep that handy. Let me get my cut and emboss machine, and we will use this to die cut our circles. So let's see, I need two of the smaller circles from basic white. And these measure, let's see, what do these measure? Uh, so they're like the smaller circle is, I'd say like three and a quarter inches. And then the larger circle is uh, about three and three and a half or thereabouts. Okay, so we're gonna cut two of them from the basic white. Just lay that there. I think it's about time that I um, flattened out my magic mat because it's very warped. And to do that, all I need to do is hit it with the heat tool until it flattens out. So, all right, let's run that through. Oh, you know what? I offset them. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. But it still went through. Okay, and then I need two of these of the smaller ones, so I'll pull this out, and then we'll run it the other way. I'm just gonna position this here so I get the most out of my card stock. Good, you can see me. I'm gonna put a post-it note to hold down the die. Another little tip for you. Then we'll run this one through the machine again. Okay, so we have our second piece of basic white. Now keep in mind, you can use any um, dies that you have on hand. You can even do this with a square and use your trimmer. You don't even need dies for this. Uh, I think the stylish shape dies would be perfect. Um, the deckled rectangles is another one that's good for this. Or like I said, you can use your trimmer to make your own um, shapes. So get creative. Once I show you the cards, you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right, so here is my paper saving tip for you. This piece is going to go layered onto the card base, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this just on the boho blue piece and we're gonna die cut it from the center. So, and again, I'm going to make sure it's um, centered because I don't want that hole to show through. So I am going to hold it with my post-it notes again. I've got one, I'm gonna put two post-it notes down on this. I just wanna make sure it doesn't move on me. And I'll put the other one here. Okay, and put this on top, and we'll send this piece through as well. All right, once we're done with this, we'll get our stamping done, and then we can put our card together. I think that is all for the die cutting. Pull these pieces off. Both of these, don't want to throw that out. Put my die back. All right, we can move this out of the way. All right, so let's do some stamping. Because I am using photopolymer stamps, I have my pierce mat. And I'm also going to put a piece of um, just scrap paper over that. Make sure I'm in the screen. Okay, and so I want to, I'm just gonna take one of my circles and let us do the bird. The little songbird we're gonna do. Okay, so let's see what I wanna do first. First I wanna make sure, so I'm gonna do the little, Feet first. Okay, we're going to do that in copper clay. All right, copper clay. Yeah, I think I was going to do it in a different color. I don't want to do them in black. Oh, you know what? Let's do it in black. 
And the reason being is that the branch is copper clay. I don't want it to get lost in there. So let's just give the birdie some black feet, okay? All right, so let's position this where we want it. Oh, you know what? I am going to need that trimmer, not the trimmer, the uh, cut and emboss machine again. So I just want to lay this down and see where um, I'm going to put his little feet. Okay. Probably about there. We'll go to the branch. And I'm going to put the feet so it's kind of underneath the branch a little. I want to make sure I have enough room for my sentiment. So I guess right around there should be good. Okay. We can close the black. And so the reason I need my cut and emboss machine one more time is because I need to die cut this piece here so it lines up. So I'm going to attach this first with some multi-purpose glue. Just that a little bit. I think this is a little clogged, so let's remove that sticky part. Should be new, it feels pretty heavy. All right, sorry about that, it did get a little clogged. So I'm just gonna add a little bead of glue on the branch and then I will die cut it so that it is even with the circle, okay? So let's put this down. Make sure the feet, the little feet are going the right way. I want to cover up the feet all the way, just a little bit. All right. Now I need my circle again. Back there. Let's get that machine back out. I don't know if this would fit. I think it would. Let me see. I think it'll fit in my mini. Yeah, this will fit in the mini. All right. Let's just use the mini machine. Hmm. All right, now to try to line this up. I think it goes like this. There's like a piece here that's a little bit taller than the rest, if that makes any sense. All right, so we're gonna do that. And I'm just fixing it on here so that we're going to cut that branch part off. Let me just hold it down with a piece of washi tape. And I need to clean my fingers because they're all sticky with glue. Pull this out, offset that, and I could also use my scissors to do this, you know, but you don't cut very good with, especially circles. I mean, straight edge is not too bad, but circles, yeah, that's not so good. So. But see, by doing that, now I've got that same edge that matches up with the circle. So that's all. All right, let me get something to clean my fingers with because they're very sticky. All right, I love to keep that hand sanitizer in here. Plus, it smells really nice. It's lavender. All right, so now I think we can do the stamping again. All right, let's bring the pierce mat back in. My little stamp here. And we're going to do the bird in uh, balmy blue. And then we'll do her wing or his wing. I guess it would be his wing because the um, males are the ones that have the color to them, right? So this is balmy blue. I'm just going to look through there. Make sure I get the legs, but I don't want to be over the legs. 
So we'll stamp that down. I'll hold it down for a couple of seconds to transfer the ink. Very nice. And then we'll do the wing. I can close this up. Do the wing in boho blue. So it's a little bit darker. All right, we'll just look there through the stamp and line that up. I think I need to put some ink on my stamping pads. I did that a little bit too high, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. So that is boho blue. We have our little eyes. Um, actually, uh, let's do the eyes in boho blue also. I did the eyes in black on one of my samples that I was trying to, that I was playing with. I didn't really care for the eyes in black. They just look really weird. So we'll do those in boho blue. That looks so pretty. Oh, cute. Such a sweet little birdie. All right, and then what else do we need to do? His beak. What do I do with the beak? Um, I know I pulled it off the, put under here, no. Where's the beak? I put it back. Oh, yep, I got it back here. Okay. Let's get this one. And we're going to do the beak in Daffodil Delight. Okay. So a bird can come alive. All right, we'll ink that up. And then we'll just. Again, look through the stamp. That is the reason why I like these photopolymer stamps. Perfect. All right, and then we just need to stamp our greeting. And we're gonna do Happy Easter. And then I need to decide, I think we'll do this in copper clay. I need to decide whether I'm going to put um, my, where are they? Here they are. Whether I'm going to put these adhesive, the in color dots, or stamp the flower. In my example, I stamped the flower a few times. I don't know if I want to do that here. I might just do the dots. So we'll just leave the flower aside for a minute. I'll think about that. All right, let me ink this up. So I don't want this, I want this to be stacked. So you see what I just did there, right? I think you saw that. Okay, so we're going to do happy. About there. Then I need to clean my stamp off on my chamois, which is off camera. And then I will ink up Easter. See that I probably got some ink on happy. Okay, and then we'll just do Easter right underneath that. Right about there. Great, okay. So that is all for that stamping. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add the in color dots to this. All right, we can put this aside. I'm done with that. And we can put this card together. All right, let's go for it. All right, first I'm going to attach this piece to the card base. Let's try to do this without getting glue on my hands. Go slow. Okay, now it, it was coming out and now it stopped again. There we go. Oh gosh, now I got this big glob over here. Oh gosh. Oh, I tell you. Never a dull moment in my videos. Never a dull moment. I hope you guys are laughing with me and not at me. 
um, where's my silicone craft sheet? Because this looks like it could be a big old mess if I don't take some of that off. I think that should be good. All right, let's put this someplace where it does not get in my way. All right, and let's put this piece down. Line it up so that there's a border all around. It's a small border, but a border nonetheless. Okay, and we'll smooth it out. Pick up my dots that I just dropped on the floor. Okay, then we'll add this to the top and see how that hides it. You can't even see the hole. Can't even see that circle. Right, I just need glue on this part. But I love this design because really it's so simple and you're using both sides of your printed paper. So it makes it perfect, I think. And you can make lots of these quickly. And I don't know what this fold is called. I did find a picture of it on Pinterest. And of course, I did not write the woman's name down where I found it. Because why would I do that? That would just be too proactive, right? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're going to do, um, let's add glue to this. So I want to center this. Um, well, yeah, center it on the circle, but not here. So it, you'll leave left space here, and you'll have a little more space there so we could see our pretty daisies, right? So I'm going to flip this over right about there. I want to add some glue. I don't want to add it to the other side because otherwise we're going to shut glue our card shut. We don't want to do that. So we will, and I found that it's easier to just place, open it up and then place the um, designer paper on top of the circle rather than trying to figure out which way it goes the other way. Okay, then I'm going to add this to the inside, but I don't want to add that yet because I may do a sentiment on that. So I'm just going to leave that like that. And then I said we'll add this with dimensionals, my one piece, and then we will add our dots, our adhesive dots. So I think five should be good. I got them all. Good, good. Oops, okay. All right, and let's add this to the front, just centering it. So pretty. We'll add our dots. Let's see. I think we'll go with the matching colors. So I think we'll do some boho blue, and the copper clay. Maybe I should put a copper clay over here. Yeah, I really like that. And then we'll do some, put one here. And, oh goodness, these are hard to take off. Some of these are like really glued on and then other times they go flying off. There, I think maybe, I don't know, I think I wanna add two more here. You know what I think I'll do? I'll add a copper clay, a small one, right here, and then we'll do a boho blue right underneath it, right there. So we have our, un, our um, odd number of dots, embellishments, right? Because they say that it's more pleasing to the eye that way. 
All right, so here you go, friends. Quick and easy card to make. And um, if you're interested in the PDF for this, I will put a link in the description below the video and you can, um, you'll get that when you sign up for my newsletter. Pretty cool. All right, so let us bring in, I'll bring in my samples now. So one thing to know, and you probably know this about me, I do use retired stamping up products for my, um, usually for my samples, because just in case I don't like the way they look, you know, I'm not really upset if I messed up the paper, which I did do a few of them that I messed up because I didn't have the correct measurements. So I kind of just was like playing around with it. But this is the one that I came up with the first one. So happy Easter. See how I did the little flowers on this one. And again, I didn't stamp the inside, but I'll do that. And again, this is, you know, cardstock that I had that I had embossed and I just kind of put it together. So yeah. And then this one I did with the uh, He's All That. So this is more of a masculine one with the colors. Again, very old paper. I don't even know when that's from. It's been a long time since I've had that. But very simple, very easy. So there you go. If you like what I showed you today, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. For those of you that are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Again, if you're interested in the PDF for this, please um, follow the link that's below the video and sign up for my newsletter. And you'll get this as your, um, once you sign up for the newsletter. Okay, have a great day. Thanks again. Bye. Mm -hmm.